Good morning, everybody. Today, I am going to tell about target delineation of optic apparatus. So, when you are do doing the uh, um, any form of radiation to the head and neck cancer or brain tumor, we have to control the optic apparatus that is arising from the optic uh, uh, nerve, optic chiasm, optic tract. So, how to identify all these structures, how to contour in the CT scan uh, very easily without any uh, uh, difficulties. So, as you, uh, you can see in this figure, this is optic uh, nerves, both of the optic nerves, they um, uh, come uh, uh, at the combine together at the junction point out known as optic chiasm. After that, uh, the two optic tracks and then go for the optic radiation. And if you see, some fibers also go to the opposite uh, optic tract uh, have the um, opposite optic tract. So, even one eye is lost, there is no vision, but if you are giving radiation to the uh, brain, you have to take care of the optic. When you, the one eye vision is totally lost, you have to take care of the optic tract of the, uh, you have to control the optic tract. So, to control the optic chiasm, optic tract or op optic nerves, you can follow this guideline, NIAGI guideline, by publishing the uh, radiotherapy oncology uh, and oncology 2016. So this chiasm, according to its definite um, boundary, sits above and behind the anterior clinical process, runs backward and above the solar topsica. For consistency, the anterior posterior limbs should extend 5% millimeter to include the start of optic nerves anteriorly, optic tract to posteriorly. The chiasm can sometimes only seen in single stage, about 3 mm thick in craniocordial direction. It is often easiest to, to identify in the coronal plane. So, mostly the thickness of the slice is important to control the optic chiasm. Most, uh, so, 3 mm slice may not be sufficient. You should go for the 1 mm slice for the CT scan uh, 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 contouring. Before going to the uh, uh, before going to the uh, uh, contouring the chiasm, you have to contour, uh, uh, you have to know the window width and window level of various uh, uh, windows. Mostly, subpiece window that is a six, six width 600, level 440, one window 1200 width and for level 400, chiasm window is a width 100 and or level 35, brain window is 270. So, first you have to contour the optic nerve. This optic nerve contour should be first starting from the posterior part of the globes. It's, it should not touch at the orbital cavity, uh, stop at the orbital cavity. It should go through the optic foramen till the um, uh, optic chiasm. So, this left side is correct, wrong, right side is correct. So, you can see the green, uh, uh, the um, uh, pink color of the left optic nerve and this, uh, light green in the right optic nerve. You have to contour the uh, optic nerve through the optic foramen toward in the uh, um, supra optic. Uh, 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 so, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, area. So, optic chiasm is a uh, to remember. So, uh, there is a imaging sequence should be you should know. But there is a two sequences: FSPGR sequence in GE and MPRS sequence in the Siemens. So, mostly slice recommendation is one mm. Direction of optic chiasm always backward and upward. Anteriorly, anterior cervical artery anterior communicating artery, posteriorly pituitary stalk, laterally internal carotid artery, superiorly third ventricle and hypothalamus, floor is the chiasmatic system. We should tracing, you should trace the optic chiasm from the optic nerve. So optic chiasm which lies to superior to the cellular torsica, anterior to the pituitary stalk. Remember it is anterior to the pituitary stalk. Inferior of the supraoptic recess of the third ventricle, optic nerves in the front, divergence are optic tracts be, uh, behind, anteriorly optic nerve convergence behind the uh, optic tract divergence, lateral body is the internal carotid artery, anteriorly anterior cerebral artery and anterior communicator artery local to the, uh, anterior to ventral to the chiasm. So, you can see this is the optic nerve and this form the optic chiasm. Posterior to that, you can see the, this is the pituitary axis. This is the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Coronal section, you can see this uh, optic chiasm very nicely. And uh, I will tell you how to do, uh, how, how the optic chiasm looks like. So it is a, like a X shaped structure, anteriorly anterior communicating artery and anterior cerebral artery, laterally middle cerebral artery and internal carotid artery, posteriorly the pituitary stalk, posteriorly the pituitary stalk, 
and uh, this is the uh, um, uh, um, uh, posterior to the anterior clinoid process then this is the posterior cerebral artery posterior communicating artery and this is the up to optic canals so if, if you uh, remember this boundary it is easy to uh, do the contouring remember if you want to do an a, a contour on a mri if you have mri you have to contour with fspj sequence in ge or mpj sequence in the siemens you can ask your radiologist according to your machine they will give and see how the optic asthma looks nicely if you see uh, the contouring step by step you see you have to contour the optic nerve you contour the optic nerve in the subtis window left and right open then contour the up, um, extend the optic nerve through the optic canal through the optic canal in bone window then identify the pituitary axis go to the chiasmatic window now the contour the contour the uh, um, chiasm and you can trace the optic tract behind you. you can see this anterior communicating artery and uh, it is front uh, anteriorly mid middle cerebral artery at the lateral so this is the thing i will tell you how to do so let's uh, uh, see how to uh, uh, do in the planning system So it is a CTMR fusion. You can see this is a total CTMR fusion. The first step to contour the optic chiasm is to contour the optic nerve. So contour the optic nerve. So first, uh, first, uh, first thing is the so first thing, uh, first thing uh, to contour the optic chiasm. Is the to contour the optic nerve. So how to contour the optic nerve? This is called a tools. If you go to the tools in these things, you will find a uh, window. Uh, 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 window window called there is a called subtis window. In subtis window, you can see the um, it is a width is six hundred and level is four hundred. You can see. Uh, uh, so if you bring go to the subtis window, you contour the in the subtis window the optic nerve. If you contour and after the contouring the so this is the uh, uh, this is the optic nerve you can see this is the coming through the optic foram, uh, optic canal and you can see this is the two both optic canals. This is the left, this is the right, this is the optic nerve. So you have to control this optic um, nerve. So suppose uh, I did the contouring left optic nerve and uh, right optic nerve. So this is the two control. Then first step is the control the optic nerve in the subtis window as far as possible. Then go to the bone window. So this is a bone window. You can see this optic canal is looks very brighter, uh, basically uh, easier to identify. So uh, drag your uh, contour towards the optic canal into the uh, optic uh, chiasmatic area. So you have to contour the optic, uh, uh, left optic nerve again. So you have to go this. So contouring till uh, this uh, uh, till orbital cavity of the opti uh, um, uh, optic nerve contouring is isn't uh, wrong. So you have to contour the optic nerve till the optic chiasm origin. So, uh, so the optic canal con uh, contouring through the optic canal, you have to cause uh, uh, your selection should be in the bone window. You cannot see the uh, lesion, uh, the, you cannot see the um, optic nerves in the uh, subtis window. The uh, optic canal cannot be properly visualized in the subtis window. You have to contour in the optic canal window. Where that is a bone window. Now I am telling out how to identify the uh, optic chiasm. Let's see. So there is an optic chiasm window that is called width is 100 and the level is 35. So if you see, 
uh, uh, the, uh, there are two things are visible here. The pos posterior to the posterior clinoid process is the uh, basal artery. Anterior to the um, um, uh, posterior clinoid process is the hypothalamic pituitary axis. You can see these two. So this is a basal artery. This is the basal artery, and another rounded structure is visible. That is hypothalamic pituitary axis. So after contouring, after contouring the optic nerves, so optic uh, sub, uh, right optic nerve and uh, left optic nerve. After contouring, you can see this star-shaped structure is in there. Uh, that is uh, in the uh, 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 this area. Is in no, no, uh, This is the. Um, uh, thing is the optic chiasm. Let's see how it happens. So if you see, so this is these two optic nerves are coming here. They form the optic chiasm here. And if you go up and up, this 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 these are the optic tracts. These are the optic tracts. And your uh, contouring should be behind the anterior anterior communicating artery and or anterior cerebral artery and anterior to the your uh, hypothalamic pituitary axis. Now I did the optic chiasm contouring. So if you see, this is the uh, uh, optic chiasm contouring that area. You can see I'm going upward, upward, and this is the things. This is the uh, uh, um, uh, divergence structure. Uh, um, So this is so this optic the this 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 is called optic tract. So this is this is optic tract. It is going, but uh, this is the optic. Uh, uh, this 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 area is the optic chiasm. You can see here. This is the this is the area we have to control properly. Whether it is correct in the MRI or not, let's see. We have to control this MRI. You can see here how uh, nicely. As a CT correlation with MRI, you can see here. This is the um, uh, optic chiasm, and this is the uh, this is the optic tract divergence structure. So this is the optic tracts. These are the optic tracts. But if you see, uh, this is the thing we can um, uh, you can see the optic chiasm you want to do in the CT scan. Slightly mismatch is there. I am adjusting how it is uh, now. It is it looks like optic chiasm. How it is. so? If you want to do in the CT scan, first you have to control the optic nerve in the surface window. First step. Second step. Contour the optic nerve through optic canal in the bone window. Third thing, along the bone wind, uh, along the optic nerve inside the optic canal and inside the optic chiasmatic area, find a, go to the optic chiasm window that is uh, window width is 100 and window level is uh, 35. Then contour and you saw your contour should be anterior to the anterior posterior to the anterior clinoid process and anterior to the anterior, uh, anterior to the posterior clinoid process and your contour should be in front of hypothalamic pituitary axis this is called hypothalamic pituitary axis its your contour should be anterior to the hypothalamic pituitary axis and slowly you can follow and you can go through this uh, optic uh, uh, optic uh, tract slowly it will diverge up is a like optic uh, from optic nerve it converges the from the optic chiasm again optic chiasm it uh, diverges to the from the optic tract so this is the very simple things and remember this optic chiasm window is 135 
square width is 35, 100 and level is 35. If you want to uh, uh, see in how it looks like uh, in the um, uh, coronal and sagittal window, you can see here. This is the how optic chiasm uh, looks like. And uh, if you want to right optic nerve and left optic nerve, you contour the, these things. So this is the thing. And if you want to see the coronal window, uh, coronal slices. So the ah. Uh, So this is in coronal slice how it looks like a uh, uh, exact optic chiasm, and uh, so you have to. Uh, this is the hypothalamic pituitary axis how it is going slowly posteriorly, and uh, this is the uh, thing we have to. Uh, uh, just I want to uh, uh, tell about this optic chiasm today. How to contour the optic chiasm in CT scan, and uh, repeat. Go and uh, select in your Monaco or Varian. Uh, try it with. Um, uh, Kaizmuki window, as I told, first step is the uh, do the optic nerves in subtis window, then elongate the optic nerve towards the optic canal in the bone window, then you find out, go to the optic chiasmatic window, then do the optic chiasma contouring, anterior to the posterior clinical process, posterior to anterior clinical process, and anterior to the hypothalamic pituitary axis, laterally middle cerebral artery, anteriorly ventral surface, anterior communicating artery, anterior cerebral artery. So this is all about the optic chiasma contouring. Thank you very much.